To find the mass of one atom of fluorine, that's F on the periodic table, all we really need to do is calculate the molar mass, or in this case, it's the atomic mass, the average atomic mass for fluorine, and then we divide by Avogadro's number. So you can think about this average atomic mass here as having the units of grams per mole. So for fluorine, we have 19.00 grams in one mole. Then we can multiply this by a conversion factor. We know that one mole of any substance, that has Avogadro's number. So in essence, really all we are doing is we're just dividing 19, this average atomic mass, by Avogadro's number. But if we do it this way, we have moles on the top and the bottom. They'll cancel out. Then we'd be left with these grams here, so we know we did it right. When we do the math, we get 3.16 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. So that's the mass of one atom of fluorine. And it is an average fluorine atom since we're using the average atomic mass. It's a pretty small number, but that makes sense. Atoms are very small. If you wanted to have the mass of one atom of fluorine in kilograms, you would divide this by 1,000. So you would end up with 3.16 times 10 to the negative 26. Finally, if you were given an isotope of fluorine, say fluorine 18. Instead of the 19.00 here, you would just put the 18 in, and that would give you the mass of one atom of the isotope fluorine 18. This is Dr. B with the mass of one atom, one single atom of fluorine, F. Thanks for watching.